Hey guys, it's Cade from the Dragony Crew. Today I have another Redstone tutorial for you. This is a color combination lock. Basically how it works is it's a lock set to a certain color combination. So this is a single color combination lock. Um, except the blue, so as you can see the door is open because it's on blue, but when you press it, it will close until you cycle all the way back around to blue. There we go, and then the door opens. Now of course a single combination is pointless because they could just cycle through until they figure out what the, uh, you know, color is. So over here I have a three color combination. I have the code right here, red, yellow, green. Um, as you can see the door is open, but if I flip any of these it closes. But if I flip them back around, so put this back on green, and go green, and I come back over here and put this back on red, the door reopens. Uh, here's the redstone behind it. It's fairly complex, not really like, uh, if, you, if you're pretty intermediate with redstone, you'll know what all this stuff is. If you're like my buddy Garrett, you'll have no idea what I'm talking about. But, um, it's pretty lengthy, but not so much, uh, horizontally. So you can stack them really close. Because other, uh, combination locks I've seen are really, really big. So you'd have, like, one color right here and then one color like right here, like five blocks apart. And so I tried to make one that that was a lot closer together. These are only two blocks apart and still work just as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to build one of these. First thing you'll need is your little base thing. So just put a 3 by 3 wall of whatever block you want, punch out the middle, and go behind, put a piston, surround this with blocks, chicken, there we go, so, um, just surround this with blocks, this is just so it looks better in here, uh, come around here, count three out from this, break it, put a normal piston. Now you're going to want to ho hook up a bud switch, so put a uh, sticky piston right here, block in front of that, redstone torch, repeater set to two, block, torch, block above that, and then blocks coming out, stopping diagonally from the uh, sticky piston. Then you're going to want to put one block right here, and put a repeater right here, oh my gosh, put a repeater right here set to two. Then you're going to want to put a torch right here, and a piston right here. This should be off, I forgot to put the redstone right there. Okay, and then you're going to want to put a... Uh, another piston right here. Now let's wire that one up by doing this. Come to this torch, put a block under it, not in front of it, under it. Come out two, put dust, repeater, set that to two, put a block, and then another piece of dust. So if you press the button, it should go like this. Oh wait, no, no, if you put a block right here, it should go this one, that one, that one. Yeah, like that. Now, we're going to want to set up the, like, memory feed. I'm not sure what you'd really call it. So you're going to want to come right here, put a repeater, and basically we're going to rebuild this mechanism. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I forgot to wire up this uh, this piston. 
basically all, all you're going to want to do is uh, put a piece of redstone right here that is uh, like right here after the bud switch go down one and then put a repeater set to two so that will um, hit that piston so now if you put a block right there the block should get pushed up that piston will fire and then that piston will fire there we go let's destroy the block okay now I'm gonna go ahead and build this mechanism again So once you have all that wired up, um, you're just going to want to get the five colors of your choice. I usually, or it can be any material you want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get my, what I normally do, the first five colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, blue, green. Now you're going to want to put whatever color you want to be your key color right there. Okay, so I'm just for demonstration I'm gonna make it green. So that's red, orange, yellow, uh you wanna put the blue right there. So it's red, orange, yellow, blue, green. So basically there's gonna be an L right here and two diagonal from it. Then you're wanna go then you're going to want to <laughs> Uh, get glass and a solid block and come over here and set the glass up in the exact same pattern like of the, like that so one two three there we go and then this block you want to put a solid block you're going to want to get a torch or a repeater and this is going to be your memory and your output so um, every time it's on green this will be lit up wait one second once again I forgot to wire up the piston right here so let me just do that so this will actually work there we go so every time it's on green this output will be on and every time it is not, it'll be off. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that. Oh, need a button. There we go. So it's on green, output is on. Not on green, output is off. That's because with this loop, this one is rotating too. And since redstone can't pass through glass, the output becomes off. Now how you link them up is pretty simple. And it has to be this corner block, because if you put it right here, it sets up a bud switch with this piston, and it messes the whole thing up. But basically, um, to hook them up, you just want to uh, put two repeaters, and then your next uh, color combination mechanism will be here and then so it'll go all the way through these blocks and go to your output. Alright guys, this has been an episode of Cade's uh, Redstone Tutorials. Hope to see you next time. Bye.